for this seat. Incumbent Lisa Sanchez, Nicholas Domini, Maria Santa Cruz Cernick, and Greg McMillan. Lisa Sanchez was elected to Boise City Council in 2017. She's been vocal on issues affecting renters in Boise and plans to continue to advocate for this group if reelected. I've been able over the past 30 years of living in Boise to forge partnerships with community members who have been key to helping us get this type of legislation moved forward and also providing them an opportunity to start to build those relationships with the city because I think we need more people. I can't be the only one. She says another priority is communication with the community. Well, what I have observed for a myriad of issues that we face in the city of Boise, we need to involve our community members. Sanchez referenced the proposal to build housing on the McGurdio property in West Boise, which the city had promised to turn into a park in the 90s. This led to an outcry from community members who were against the proposal. Nicholas Domini is a small business owner and member of the U.S. Army Reserves. He says housing is one of the top issues in Boise right now, and he disagrees with where new developments are being built. We need to start building the infrastructure outwards, plan on building everything out there and then move everything inward and making sure that we're not just throwing things randomly out board and be like, well, I guess this works or this fits. Another issue Dominie says is a top priority is the distance of fire departments from Northwest Boise, the area near where the goose fire burned a few weeks ago. And if people keep moving out there and the homes keep growing, then we need to have a fire department out there. And that's something that I'm advocating for. The city of Boise recently announced it's considering adding a fire department in the same area. Maria Santa Cruz Cernick is also a small business owner and says one of the top issues in Boise right now is the proposed interfaith sanctuary shelter on West State Street. One would be the, the shelter and also the safety in our neighborhoods and you know maintaining that. I think we need to do more of a neighborhood watch Cernick has previously been critical of the proposed move, but recently met with the executive director of Interfaith Sanctuary, Jody Peterson Steigers, to learn more about the project. She has not made any other comments on the issue since this meeting. On housing, she says tiny homes might be a solution. And my suggestion would be to create a Avamore type village of small houses, tiny houses as they are called. Greg McMillan has more than a decade of experience with commercial and residential realty. He says one of the top issues in Boise right now is public safety. I don't think they're receiving as much training as they would like. Um, and I think that's really important to provide um, high quality um, service from the Boise police, also providing the resources necessary from the fire department as well. On housing, he says one way to address this issue is to add staff to planning and zoning and streamline the processes. He also says the city can look to other cities that have grown quickly for examples of what to do and what not to do. Look outside our, our own bubble to say who's doing it well, how did they do it, um, and maybe who didn't do it as well, and what can we learn from that? McMillan says some examples might be Colorado Springs and Albuquerque. You can find the full interviews with these candidates and more information about other local races on our website, IdahoNews6.com. Anna Azalian, Idaho News 6.